There we go. There we go. These quarters look fine. They look great. Just a friendly reminder that the new tie-dye shirts and bleached shirts just dropped on the website. There's only a run of 50 of each, so go check them out at mavmadeit.com. Um, every order is packed with love. Thanks. dark in here i did this yesterday afternoon put these springs in i shoved quarters into the springs to stretch them out and to get them attached still pretty sad on the inside here and very dark we've got a sink here that's not hooked up we've got no lighting and bare metal on the roof and i'm no engineer but i don't think that's supposed to be happening That's a nightmare. All right, so we have things to do. Oh yeah, the other thing is, there's nowhere to sleep. I believe that this bug could be one of the, I, I think you'd be more comfortable than the truck. All right, so to be honest with you, this is like the sketchiest part of this whole thing. I don't even like having this thing set up right now. So that's probably what we should tackle first. And then of course we need to find a mattress. I want to hook up the water tank. I want to get the bug situation figured out. This is a project car after all. And fortunately or unfortunately, that means that it's going to require a fair bit of work before I can uh, comfortably camp in this thing again. This thing is legitimately a death trap right now. I need to support these arms. But the issue is, what's going to hold the roof on if the arms aren't? My idea is to take these screws off and just to pull the whole roof off so I can work on those without risking getting shut in here like a sardine can. Over the course of the next couple days, I'm gonna try to fix these issues with the bug or at least put a little band-aid on them. I will show you how I get this place feeling a little bit more like home as well as showing you how, just how much it costs, so. necessarily exactly what I wanted to use for the repair, but I think it should work. $130 spent at Home Depot. Alright, so one of the biggest things that the bug needs is a mattress to sleep on, of course. Uh, one of the things that I did to my truck was after owning an Ikea mattress for like two years in it, I decided to uh, upgrade and get myself a foam mattress from a foam upholstery shop. So. I think I'm just gonna skip the Ikea mattress this time and I'm gonna go ahead and get a uh, an upholstery foam mattress. The only problem is, is that where I'm located in Minnesota, there's not a whole lot of options here. Yeah. Hi there, um, I'm looking for a high density foam to like use as a mattress. Okay, so how much is how much is one of those? Oh, give me one second, okay? Hey. So we're looking at like mm, 250 bucks. All right. All right. Thank you. I don't. I really don't want to have a seam in the middle of my mattress and be like, wah, wah. Hi there. I'm looking for uh, like a high density foam to use as a mattress. Then the standard grade would run four hundred twenty-two dollars before tax. Four hundred twenty-two dollars. Yep. All right. Four hundred twenty-two bucks. All right. Well, I guess I'm gonna head to try to fix the roof first. Seems to be important. Let's do that.
what I was going to do is I was going to unscrew these bolts. And then so I'll take the bolts off. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what we're going to rest it on. If we're just going to rest it on the arms. Like this is really dangerous. It is. So I don't know what to do. Okay. What do you think? I get in there with, put my feet up on the one side and just take the bolts off. Oh yeah, bud. How did bud get this in here? <coughs> oh Jesus. Ah! Well, I now what? It. I got it. You come this I way. I don't know about that. You come this way. You come this way. There. Okay. <laughs> I hope it works. <laughs> I hope to have all my limbs after this project. So. Are you okay? Are you sure? Are you good? I in the hole. <laughs> Are you alright? I think so. Alright, we got the roof off and this is why we needed to take it off because it's so loose. And this one's loose? Because this is just junk. I mean, look at this. Oh my god. Wonderful. This needs to get redone too. I could literally karate chop through this thing. Dad's like, I'm done with this project. Your son, all he does, he doesn't come up with a solution, he just complains. <laughs> all right, well, pretty fortunate to be living at home still because there's no way if I was by myself that I would have been able to get that off. So thanks to my dad, but we've got a new set of problems. This is the main reason why I wanted to move these out, as you saw earlier. But I didn't realize that these ones are super cracked. So Dad's running to the store right now, grabbing some really long bolts that we can put all the way through, through the frame, and bolt to the outside. And then I am getting the fun task of making a new, like, subframe type thing. some issues and it was getting dark but we got some really jank temporary temporary right now we're gonna go get some new screws tomorrow stuff back here though see you in the morning i'm running to a salvage yard right now to pick up some spare parts you know what kind of car a uh, volkswagen beetle today marks my first day uh an auto salvage yard. We're gonna see if I can test my luck at taking off a side mirror on a bug and not only just taking one off but replacing it. Where the hell are these things? Hey there, uh where's the Volkswagen bugs located? Six or seven rows toward the toward the purple building from the car crusher. Out of here. All right. Thirty-five bucks. That was a success. Let's see if we can get it on now. Yeah, boy. Now it's time to secure these a little better. These are the joints. This piece of wood is just flexing. Can you just film inside of the car when I do that? Ooh, yeah, she's moving. We're gonna replace that piece of wood. There you go. Nice hat. You can get those on mavavanda.com. There you go. Come here. 
I think. Nice work. Oh. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, well, I think I might paint all this white, but it's looking, it's coming together. It's looking good. There's a huge black bear. Look at that thing. Are you serious? <laughs> that was a huge one. That's the biggest one I've ever seen. Well, this project's definitely taking longer than I thought. We saw a black bear. We ordered some pizza. We've got some wood secured. Now, hopefully the roof is more secure. It's another day, another project on the bug. We're heading to the the store, but essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish the roof. I'm not gonna drag this out too long, but we're gonna go grab paneling and finish the roof. It's a eight foot by four foot. So I grabbed some styrofoam insulation, some white roof paneling, and decided to make the, the job a little bit prettier by adding uh, the white paneling on top of the roof. All right. Thank you. So we got some beams put in here. This is gonna support the roof piece. Hopefully, hopefully that this is all gonna work. After some finagling, I got her in. All right, so it's come time to put the bug roof back on, but unfortunately, my dad's thrown out back has gotten really bad. I don't really have any friends in the area anymore. My one friend just got deployed. He's in the, uh, the Air Force. So we're uh, we're gonna rely. Oh, what's up, dude? Howdy, partner. How's it going? I see you. I see you again. We'll we'll try to lift it and see if like we can get it up, but. Uh, I'm gonna back this thing out quick. Yeah, I might need somebody in here with me. It's a little tight. Um, if you can slide up here, <laughs> it is tough. <laughs> Hey guys, can you push it forward a little bit? Yeah, a little more. Let me get the other two up and we're good. Go in the hole, damn it. Get in the hole! Ah. Be nice to have one more person in here, maybe. I don't know if it's gonna add too many cooks to the kitchen, but ah. it doesn't wanna go in. It's in. Oh, it's up. back. Nice. I found myself a mattress. I went with something that was closer to $250, um, but I got it from an upholstery shop and drove all the way down to the cities and picked it up. All right, so Target had a sale on bedding. I got this comforter for like 15 bucks, got a set of sheets for about $10. Um, I found this nice string light for about $30. Got it all mounted up there. Um, I got three remote controlled lights up here. These were like another $30. Super nice. Just powered by batteries so I don't have to worry about wiring. I ended up grabbing some little storage bins. This is kind of a work in progress in here. Might do some shelving, some drawers or something. But the one thing I'm really excited about, of course, is the sink. It's hooked up to a six gallon water tank. So it's the first time I've ever had a sink in a build. Awesome. So I also added a uh, little thermostat to tell the inside temperature and the outside temperature. I had to mount a little sensor out here. I also need to figure out like a fridge situation. I don't know if I can fit one down here or something, but that sounds like a thing for another day. This project took a, took a lot longer than I thought it was going to. So thank you guys for tuning in this episode. Hopefully it gives you some ideas for 
your camping builds. I'm looking forward to camping on this thing, and I'm also looking forward to going back to Mexico and grabbing my truck. So thanks for tuning in. Until next time, you're another drill. Just keep on trucking.